Hello, go ahead. Hello, hi everyone. Okay, mm. uh, my name is Imtisal Nur Said. Uh, my project is a simulated environment for reinforcement learning based erosion detection using Omnet. Uh, my agenda is um, I will explain how reinforcement learning environment uh, works and then I will go to explain the proposed network environment I developed, then uh, the OSI layers uh, and where is my um, uh, proposed uh, method located. Uh, network data that sensed by the sniffer agents in my environment because my environment is mainly a uh, mass agent. Parameters for the HTTP browsers and servers, uh, DQN agents, which are the detectors themselves, network traffic before and after attack using uh, DQN agents, performance of the DQN agent, detection performance, and the conclusion on future work. Okay, first I will start by the reinforcement learning environment. Actually, reinforcement learning environment is an interactive uh, uh, environment in which the agents, uh, uh, an agent act by uh, taking action in the environment, then receive feedback uh, and uh, other information from uh, the environment, then evaluate the action, uh, the actions um, taken update it is uh, knowledge and it will repeat this these steps from one to four until it comes to uh, a steady state called convergence after which uh, no more update or no significant update will happen and this is explanation of how the uh, reinforcement learning environment works here we have the environment, which is the network for my situation. Uh, the agent takes the action, takes the decision, analyze the um, decision it makes, and based on that, it updates it its knowledge. Okay, this is um, the design of uh, the uh, uh, network I developed. I have a field of servers consists of multiple servers connected with uh, local area networks by uh, routers. Uh, each not, uh, local uh, area network is with uh, multiple um, host computers connected also by routers. And I have uh, multiple agents located in the, in the routers. All the agents are located in the routers, my detect uh, detector agents, sensor agents, and also I have a small functionality called executor agent, also located in, um, in the router. Um, uh, actually, in this project, I implemented the, um, the functionalities of the toolkit, uh, uh, the HTTP toolkits toolkit of Omnet++, uh, which has a stand, uh, which has a browser and server, and also it has uh, HTTP server VLA and uh, B for generated malicious uh, soft malicious traffic. Um, the network itself is consists of standard host components that contain the HTTP browser application from the HTTP uh, toolkit of Omnet. Uh, it has server, servers themselves are a standard host with uh, HTTP server application, also from the same HTTP toolkit. Uh, I have also routers, uh, routers for, um, for dro dropping and forwarding packets, also for hosting the, uh, the agents. Uh, I forget to say that the uh, HTTP browsers are for generating uh, normal traffic and the server uh, application for uh, responding to uh, the request coming from the HTTP browsers. Uh, these are the uh, configuration of the network I developed uh, for the links, for the uh, web protocols, for the devices, uh, 
how many devices I have, uh, the server, HTTP server and HTTP browser, and also the um, HTTP server, EVLA A and B. Uh, these are the configuration for the network. Okay, um, the project is mainly uh, the, the developed uh, methods uh, located in um, in the lower layers of the of the OSI uh, protocol. Uh, my the sniffer agent can see buckets after encapsulation. Actually, it is located in the peer to peer uh, the sorry the point to point. Uh, protocol layer. Uh, the sniffer agent sees the buckets after encapsulation. It captures relevant information from the uh, buckets, determine the status of the network based on uh, the sensed information and based on three three uh, threshold uh, determined in advance. Uh, the sniffer agent also communicates with the corresponding detector agent located in the same router to decide whether it will start the investigation or not. And this is uh, the point-to-point -point protocol framework, uh, frame, and this is uh, captured information taken from the point-to-point -point protocol uh, frame. Uh, I have the duration. Uh, this, this is actually um, sensed by the sniffer agent. Uh, duration, source address, destination address, data links in bytes, uh, bit errors also. And here I have organized it in this table, uh, the features uh, specified for the, uh, the, the detector agent to, uh, to embed in the um, reinforcement learning uh, engine. The same information, IP. IB addresses such as uh, IB addresses uh, source and destination, data transfer number of requests also duration and number of bit errors. Uh, these are the parameters uh, for the HTTP browser, which are used for generating normal uh, traffic. Uh, I have the session interval, request interval, and a request in session. Uh, description and values. Uh, also, I have the parameters uh, specified for the HTTP uh, server. Big size, number of resources, text image resource uh, ratio, image resource size, text resource size. Um, these are the parameters for the HTTP server. The HTTP uh, server EV A, A and B are used for um, generating uh, bad uh, traffic. And these are the parameters, mean bad um, requests and max bad requests, which are three and uh, three minimum and eight maximum for both of the servers. Uh, then I have the DQN agent, which is the detector. This is the architecture of the DQN agent, which is which contains um, a replay memory um, for for buffering the uh, some um, uh, tables used for training. Uh, the DQN agent also has two neural network, online network and uh, target network. The online network is used for taking action and uh, the um, target uh, neural network is used for training and for updating the, um, the weights. This is the algorithm used for uh, learning. Um, these are the parameters for the DQN agent. I have the general parameters. Sorry. Um, such as how many layers I have in the neural network, how many inputs, how many outputs, uh, the learning rate and the discount. Uh, these are the parameters used for training. Uh, also, I have the parameters. Uh, for the for the DQN uh, DQN generally, she are the inputs, the actions, the learning layers, the gamma, the epsilon, the mean epsilon, and the decay of the epsilon, decay rate of the epsilon. Um, these are the results I got from um, the project. 
uh, network traffic before and after attack. I have here in normal situation, I have uh, the traffic at all the servers uniformly distributed. Um, the number of requests means uh, here I have uh, one server is under attack, which is uh, www.good.com. Uh, now under attack, uh, as uh, you can see that the other servers, um, the requests at the other servers are um, uh, no, uh, uniformly distributed and there is deviation in uh, the request for at the server www.good.com. Um, I measured the, the performance of the uh, DQN agent, the Q value. Um, as you can see here, the blotting showing that the agent starts with minimum um, value for the Q, uh, then increased uh, the value of the Q is uh, increased uh, during the simulation. Um, uh, but uh, from from the um, uh, blotting, I can say that uh, no convergence still, but uh, I think the agent is going to uh, stabilize uh, if the uh, number of of uh, of steps uh, or the simulation time is more than um, than the simulation time. Uh, I got uh, a result from uh, the Q value. Actually, is um, the quality of the actions the the, the agent takes and um, the simulation time is uh, like um, showing the the duration the duration and this uh, while this um, uh, as the time elapses or the time go going as uh, the agent uh, is um, uh, gaining uh, uh, more accurate results um, here i have the loss value also during the 20, uh, 250 steps or two, uh, 250 um, uh, in simulation time. Uh, here I have the epsilon uh, decay and also the epsilon decay uh, show, shows that uh, the agent stopped um, exploring after step uh, 22, uh, 22 or 21. After that, the agent start using it its own um, uh, knowledge or the knowledge what uh, it it gained during the last uh, steps. No more exploration means. Uh, then I uh, measured the uh, the detection performance. Uh, I have total uh, uh, five thousand uh, six hundred fifty one uh, cases. Uh, the true positive was uh, 624, um, true negative 682, uh, false positive 2, uh, 2,301, false negative uh, uh, 3,350. Uh, 3, and I got very small accuracy and precision, uh, only 90% um, accuracy and 21 precision. Uh, from this experiment. Uh, conclusion, I have developed a uh, simulated environment for reinforcement learning uh, inter based intrusion detection using simulation. Um, in this uh, environment, the network uh, performance uh, has been measured and also the uh, reinforcement learning algorithm has been evaluated. Uh, the performance of the detection also um, measured. And um, for future work, um, other reinforcement learning algorithm can be tested using the same uh, framework. And uh, also, um, cooperative reinforcement learning algorithm can be uh, tested and evaluated using this uh, simulated environment. Uh, here, um, uh, thank you for uh, your attention. Uh, here we have, um, this is the reference for uh, the HTTP toolkit I used in developing my environment. Thank you, and if there are any uh, questions, 
I'm ready to answer. I think there's a question in the chat. Okay, what attack type uh, you consider in your work? Okay, I uh, the attack type uh, I used is denial of some uh, kind of denial of service attack called flashback attack. This is also included in the HTTP uh, toolkit. Yeah, go ahead, Nicholas. <coughs> yeah, so um, mine is, is, is sort of a general question. Okay. Um, would, would you, um, th there's this uh, new new approach um, to attacks um, called zero zero day zero day attacks. Is it something you think can be can be tested in this model? Because somewhere in your explanation, you talked of connecting it to to, to an actual network. So I think um, it's 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 one of those interesting areas. Uh, is it is it something you you think can be um tested in this scenario a zero day attack yeah. um, well um actually uh, using reinforcement learning uh, mainly is to avoid uh, using uh, using uh, data sets or prior knowledge uh, because the agent uh, uh, learn by interacting with the environment the agent start with uh, with knowing uh, nothing uh, then by interaction, um, during the time, it comes to learn um, uh, or to uh, gain some knowledge about the incident. So it is suitable for zero-day attacks. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Um, just a quick question uh, for me. Hi, this is Gabor speaking. Um, I'm wondering, since you uh, mentioned that the agent learns um, that there is something wrong, um, did you have any data on how long this takes in real time? So how, how much it would take for it to recognize uh, that somebody's messing with the network? Um, from the experiment, I... Uh... I conducted uh, the agent uh, uh, did not uh, reach to the convergence, but uh, until the end of the simulation at step uh, at time, um, uh, I mean um, step number uh, two uh, uh, two hundred fifty, uh, the agent the agent has come to uh, to us. Uh, uh, roughly um, uh, steady state, uh, but convergence is still not happen in this uh, in this uh, uh, in this experiment. Uh, this is for individual agent, but uh, actually this project is or this experiment is part of uh, my uh, big project which is cooperative. Using a single agent, as you can see, uh, steady state uh, hasn't uh, uh, happened. Uh, but in cooperative agent, um, uh, convergence happened. The agent uh, comes to steady state after, uh, after uh, less than 250 uh, steps. This, I think, it uh, because uh, the simulation time was a complete day, uh, uh, but uh, I think uh, 
I think the time is uh, is very long to for the agent to learn, but maybe other type, uh, other proposed uh, uh, solution may reduce the number of uh, steps for the agent to learn because uh, 200, I think, is too much time to take for the agent to learn the exact uh, action. So um, 250 steps approximately, that would be like for the whole day, right? Yeah, for the whole day. Mm -hmm. Thank you.